I pay you $24 and a handful of beads. Hey, now, wait a minute. You're out of line. Seem fair to me. You people buy entire island of Manhattan for same price. Ah, it was a lousy deal, Chief. In a hundred years, they won't get a nickel for the place. No, white man very smart about real estate. Remember when you first come here? This once entire Kaui territory. Then you make treaty, we divide land. Holy Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, uh, Sergeant O'Rourke, Corporal Lager on reporting, sir. Oh, at ease, man, at ease. I've uh, called you in because I'd like to discuss this business of this. Hey, oh, Are you all right, you sir? Right, sir? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I have to get that loose board fixed. Oh. I'll get Private Duffy on it this afternoon, sir. Yes, oh, you do that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you were saying, sir. Kenny. Uh, just a little higher, Duffy. We want to make sure those horns are not at pants level. <laughs> I know what you mean, sir. <laughs> Sergeant O'Rourke, Corporal Agar on reporting, sir. Eddie, Eddie, you can just put those down, Duffy. Yes, sir. Now, it has come to my attention that you men are not talking to each other. Now, what seems to be the problem? And who'd tell you a thing like that, sir? I told the captain. You've got a loud bugle and a mouth to match. You can't talk to me like that, Agar. He can talk to you any way he wants. No, no, to. wait a minute, man. The minute you hear something, you go running right to the captain. Well, I just think it's stupid for two friends not to be talking. Who are you calling stupid? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I may be stupid, but I'm smart enough never to talk to you again. Yes, and that goes for me, too. Now, gentlemen, gentlemen, listen. We can't have non-commissioned officers not talking to each other and not talking to the men under them. Now, look, Agar, no soldier ever has a good enough reason not to talk to his buddies. Captain Parmenter. Yes, Corporal. Would you tell Private Duffy that I just found a good reason never to speak to him again? I'm still talking to you, Duffy. Well, I ain't talking to no man who comes running through the captain over a little thing like this. It's not such a little thing, either. <laughs> oh, shit. Forrest Tucker. Bullshit! <laughs> I was in the dressing room. There were a couple of visiting young women, you know, from uh, Michigan. He was in the dressing room, and somebody brought it up, not those young women, because they were embarrassed. And, and, uh, and he said, well, somebody said, well, why don't you uh, describe it? He said, I can do better than that. And he stood up and he dropped his drawers. <laughs>